hello everyone in this video we are going to look at amazon transcribe which is a automatic speech recognition service provided by aws so amazon transcribe lets you uh, convert your audio files into text right so if you have an audio file or a audio or a video file uh, with some audio in it then you can convert it into text using uh, amazon transcribe so when you go to your Amazon transcribe service. This is what you're going to see. So click on launch Amazon transcribe and you will be redirected on this page. So this is the real time transcription. So whenever I'm saying something, it will be converted into text. So you, you can simply click on start streaming and whatever I'll be speaking right now must appear over here. So it does work with some accuracy. If you see, So it is working so it uh, it's converting my voice uh, real time and it's converting converting into uh, text all right so click on stop streaming so it will stop and then you can download the full transcript as well right so uh, on the left you'll see some other options click on transcripts and jobs click on leave page so as you can see i've uh, tr I tried one uh, test a job for uh, converting my audio file into text so what i'll do is create a new job now so you can name your job so and you have two options now general model and uh, custom language model so if you have built your own language model and that you have trained and you want to use that so you can go ahead with this option but right now we'll go with the general model right go down now it says input file location on s3 so the audio file that you uh, you want to convert to text should be in your s3 bucket okay so quickly go to your s3 service and let's create a bucket name this bucket okay next okay already exists Keep the default settings. Uncheck this box. Review your uh, settings and click create bucket. So now I have a bucket. So I'll upload an audio file. So I'll go with this. So if you've seen my previous videos, this will be one of the uh, videos on my channel. Let's convert that text. Click on upload. So the video is uploaded now you can click on the video and you can see copy path click on this go back to your amazon transcribe and you can paste it here or you can you know easily browse your uh, file that you just uploaded so i'll just paste it here and now we have in the output data which says the output will be removed after 90 days when the job expires and the output will not be removed from the bucket even after the job expires so uh, you can choose any one of this so i'll keep the default one click on next now you have a couple of options here so it says uh, choose a split multinational audio into separate channels transcription so as per your application you can uh, you know use particular settings right so i'll just keep this this default so vocabulary filtering and custom vocabulary we'll talk about this after after some time click on create and it says your job is in progress 
so let's wait for this to complete till then we'll look at the other features so if you have a custom language model that you're using so we can discuss the steps so it says upload data to amazon s3 we can simply upload the data just like now how we did and then you can train it on your custom language model and then you can directly use that to run your transcription jobs so we are not going to look at custom language models in this video maybe it, it, it can be another topic for another video right so custom vocabulary is uh, you can say if there's some text in your audio there's some uh, uh, text in your audio that is surely to uh, appear then you can create a file with those names or phrases and so this will uh, let amazon transcribe understand that this text will surely be in the audio file so this is going to increase the accuracy of the model so your output the text output will be much more clean and appropriate okay so filtering is if so that, that's how you create a vocabulary and vocabulary filtering is so if you want to mask some or hide some or remove some of the words you can do that too so that that you can do by uh, creating a filter okay let's go back to our transcription so now it's complete let's click on this we get all the details of the job that we have created scroll down let's give this a minute yes it's so it has converted all my audio into text it says now let's start making what we just saw so uh, if you see my alexa video on the channel you will see that i have said these words and it, it has successfully created uh, converted into text so when you hover over the words it gives you it gives you a confidence also confidence percentage so it says saw is 100 percent so good so when you create a new project this is what you're going to get at the top so if you listen to that video you will surely see that i have said this and the amazon tra transcribe is working perfectly there might be some uh, some uh, errors so like it says larry green i don't remember saying larry green anywhere so this might be something else okay though the confidence is 97 which is quite high so uh, as per your application you can use transcribe in your own ways so you have the first block for the second block so as you can see the first block for the second block so this is not making some much sense right so it was able to understand what i was trying to say so if i add a vocabulary now this will be much cleaner and it will have much more meaning okay at the bottom we have application integration so here you get the uh, api response and the api call uh, details okay and you can of course download the full transcript or delete it or copy it so this was just an introduction for amazon transcribe you can uh, have your own own custom model to work on there's something called an amazon transcript medical also but uh, of course this is not uh, a video for the medical part this is only to get you started with transcribe and how it is and how it works all right so that's it for this video thank you